We got the munchies. This is why literally I will never be skinny as exactly. long as you live with me. We're making paninis. What are you doing? So we're gonna make that belly. And taquitos. You're eating taquitos and paninis. I mean, we already turned the oven on. You can just turn it off. <laughs> Fine. You guys, every I mean, I mean, no, just make them. I want one. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I wish we had ranch. Last time I did them with ranch. The taquitos? Yeah, it was like a jack in the box taco. As you get the other turkey. Charlie's probably at the door quivering for food. <laughs> He's so fat. He's so fat. Sometimes if I'm making food, like at night, because I shut the door when Matthew's sleeping, I can hear him sniffing under the door. Dude, every time I come home from school and eat, he comes right there and goes like this. He's such a brat. He's not allowed to do that. I know. You have to tell him to go to his And then house. I put him on my lap and we eat together. Asia, that's why my dog doesn't have manners anymore. He was such a good boy until you moved here. Well, I'm taking these turkey slices and I'm sauteing them so they're crispy. It's a little better. Hi, baby. He was crying at the door. Oh, honey. He was like, hi, my love. Oh, I missed you. Come here. You're so fat. He's so fat. I love him with my whole heart. Dude, I fucking love turkey sandwiches. I, I literally live for them. The lighting in here is terrible. <laughs> I can't wait till we move and we have bright lights. We won't even be able to go in the kitchen anymore because Matthew's right there. We'll just close his door. I'm going to buy a fan so he's not loud because I need to eat in the middle of the night. <laughs> I'm going to get one of those. <laughs> Those fans that are really loud, so when we're downstairs in the living room, he can't hear us and he can't say shit. Charlie looks so cute. Show them how cute he looks. Look at this sweet angel. I love you. Take the one, let go. Come on, angel. You can cook with mom. Okay, yeah. You were looking at my room. I was looking at your room, and I think you should put the bed against the window. That's what I'm gonna do. I think it would look better that way. I found these cute Pinterest ideas. I don't want to do. Show me pictures. You guys, I'm so excited. We're literally moving in, like, I don't know if it's going to be ready because they're telling us it's supposed to be ready October 15th. That's our closing date. I don't think it's going to be ready by then. But they said it is. We went today and they did all the lighting. They did the backsplash to the, you know what? It actually might be ready by then because they just need to do the, uh, the wood floors and the carpet upstairs. And they need to put in the, just the counters in the bathrooms. They already did the doors. Like, they put the locks, all the lights up. The electricity was already on and everything. And they need to do the grass and the fence. So it actually might be ready in two weeks. Two I'm so weeks? Because our closing date, they have it listed as October 15th. And I was like, it's not going to be ready in two but weeks. But the house, like, does it look done? Dude, I'm telling the you walls, today. The bedrooms, They have everything painted. Even the upstairs? Everything. The only thing they don't have, they even have the, the carpet. They even have the spindles and the railings. The carpet? The only thing they don't have is the carpet and the wood. Because remember when was the last time when I went? Oh, and the bathrooms are done. Like, it looked like a skeleton house. You haven't been since they put the walls up? No. Let's I go tomorrow. Get a foil. I like really crispy turkey. Can I use this? Because it's the only thing I can get out. I don't even know what that is. I've never seen it. I might have to fold it. Or go in the oven. What the fuck is this? I don't fucking know. Do I really need to be eating right now with a swivel chin? Is that the best decision I could be making for my life? I don't even know where these taquitos came from. How many do you want? It's like two or three. How about three? How many do you want? Three. No, I'll have two. Just put it. Okay. This fucking panini is gonna smack. I know. With that sauce. Mm. Oh, let me show you guys the sauce we got. It's from Boar's Head. I got it at HEB. Oh my god. Game changer. This is like panini 101 right now. Honestly, I'm so happy I don't have to work tomorrow. You know why I think I make good sandwiches? Why? Because my grandma makes the best sandwiches ever. I make good sandwiches. You do make good sandwiches. Oh my god, and mom's fucking sandwiches. Oh, she puts so much mayo yeah. on them. And she puts that crisp Dude, lettuce. Dude, we're literally just a That's family of good sandwiches. Your specialty is a sandwich? Yep. That's sad. <laughs> oh, I 
know how to make. Yeah, we're gonna have to teach you how to cook, sweetie. Oh my God. Imagine if we put a clove of garlic in here and sauteed it with the garlic. Okay, wait, what do I Why are you not as excited about the garlic as Because I just want to eat my sandwich and wash my throat. Oh, you know what would be good if we put some chips in? <laughs> Holy shit, that actually would be good. I love kettle chips in my sandwich. Yeah, Dude, do you know what is it. so good? Wait, wait, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I remember. If we had the cheesy jalapeno bread from H-E-B with that, and we buttered it and <laughs> we toasted it to golden perfection. Oh my god. And we put a lot of cheese and it was gooey. Oh my god. I can taste it right now. And we're using real butter. We're not using fake butter today. And you have to butter from corner to corner. We're gonna do this. We're doing it right now? Yeah, because it's gonna be all melted. We're gonna do a slice of cheese. If you want a slice enough, there's just a half a slice here. Where's yours? I have to get the other cheese. Oh, is this my Sandy? Yeah. Are you putting mayo too? Yes, sweetie. This is what we're looking like. You like a lot of mayo, don't you? Heck yeah, I do. Don't do be scared. Do you want more? Uh, yeah. I mean, I told Sarah I'm made up of 90% mayo. You're literally, I've never seen anybody eat as much mayo as you I do. Love I think mayo. it's so weird. I mean, I like mayo too, but I don't want it to be like gushing out of the sides. I want it to be like, I would eat Gushers mayo. Up close footage of where we're, how we're looking right now. Nice and stuffed on the inside. <laughs> I literally should be a Food Network star. I can't even stand it. Honestly, if I worked at Subway, I would make the best sandwiches ever. They would be so good. Everybody would come back and they would be like, I want her to make my sandwich. How am I gonna do my sandwich? How am I gonna butter this side? I'm so, like, I don't know what to do. Oh my god, I have to tell you guys right now. I'm literally telling the world because it's like, I swear, I'm acting like I just fucking won the fucking Olympics. Which one? Why? I finally finished Sons of Anarchy. Oh my god. I'm so proud of myself. It took me so long. It was so good. Wait, take your turn. You gotta flip them over. That doesn't look done. That looks raw in the middle. I wish I had four hands. I need more hands right now. I need, okay, look. You hold the top. I need you. My germ hands? I got you sick. No, never mind. I don't get what you're trying to accomplish. Look how it's bending. I can't Stop bite bending. it. But it's like, it has this on the other side. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why you did that. All right, you know what? Fuck it. I was like, why is she wanting it like that? I'm just gonna have to, I'm gonna have to fuck it up. Who's there, Charlie? Who's there? Don't make him bark. I like to hype him up. Do you want to wake up the beast? Charlie, you better not bark. Ooh, yours is so crispy. Ooh, look at this crust. That is perfection. God, the video doesn't even do it justice. My sandwich better be just as crispy as yours or I'm gonna be pissed. Oh Fresh my God. God. Does that look amazing? Holy, uh, holy hell. Say I'm the best sandwich artist there is in the world. Yeah. Did you really take my plate? Why did you say it like Did you really take, did you really take my plate? Hey, we never finished watching Harry Potter. We were gonna have a little shun. <gasps> Oh, it was just a fly. I thought it was a spider. <laughs> I swear on yeah. Charlie's leg. Look, you scared me. I swear to God on Charlie's leg. I thought it was a spider crawling on your shoulder. I was paralyzed in fear. I want to go to a pumpkin patch. I don't even pictures. know where there's a pumpkin patch. I just want to be, uh, do all the fall activities like pumpkin patch. I just want to have a photo shoot at pumpkin patch. I'm going to wear a flannel. I want to go to Scream World so bad. It's, it's so scary. scary. I've been before and it's I almost shit my pants. It's oh, um, they touch you? It, they're not allowed to touch you. It's like literally but, like realistic. We were talking about those at work. It's the scariest haunted house I've ever been to in my life. Did you ever hear about the one that they take you through the woods and they take you on a cart? You're Listen, lying. What they do is they put you on a cart. Uh, the bartender was saying this. They put you on a cart. Where? 
Uh, wait. Tell me the I place and the time right now. I'll have to ask him. They put you on a cart into the woods, and then they just drop you off, and you have to get out yourself. And there's like that sounds like so much fun. Pe- like I would have a fucking heart attack. And then Jillian. That said, sounds like the spookiest thing I've would ever experience in my life. She said she's going to this thing where you have to sign a waiver and you go up. Ask a, her where it is. You go up a building. I want to like go. A certain amount of stories. Like you go on an elevator. Give me your and plate. It's scary as shit. I hate haunted houses. I love haunted I houses. I hate them. I'm fucking terrified. Make way. Make way. Make way where? Are we on the fucking Titanic? <laughs> make way, make way. For some reason, I know somebody said that on Titanic. Just like, oh no, with the Metro. <laughs> it's Poco in the Metro. It's and like, I know that's, that's a song. song. Oh my Is it God. amazing? I can't wait to have my sandwich. Oh, it's so good. I just will come for my taquitos later. You know what I would do if I had, if I could have my own Food Network show? I'm sure I'm taking it. I would make my show called Meals I Eat at 11 o'clock at night when everybody else is sleeping. Midnight snacking with Sarah. What you do to That would be so adorable. Nobody better take that. I'm putting a fucking patent on that. Comfort food recipes that you crave in the middle of the night when you're starving. <laughs> the fourth meal. Do you know how Matthew likes his turkey sandwiches? He only likes them with a thin layer of Miracle Whip. <laughs> like, that ain't doing so shit for me. Look at that. That's a disgrace to the yeah. turkey sandwich, if I ever saw one. Mm. Mine looks even better than yours. Look at that, baby. Do you know what I used to do as a child? I was so fat. I used to take Parmesan cheese like shredded Parmesan cheese and make little piles on a plate and melt it in the <laughs> microwave. <laughs> and then I used to eat it when it melted down into a little crisp. You know what else I used to do? This is me exposing myself for two minutes straight. I used to take little Kit Kats, the mini ones, I'd take like 10. <laughs> And you know the heaters that we used to have in our Ohio house? <laughs> but you know how they were on the floor and we used to be able to take off the top? <laughs> I would hide them. Was it that fire I don't know. I used to eat them all in like an hour. But I would take them and hide them. So nobody else could eat them. And what? then I would open them. Why? Were they melting? Yeah, they'd be all melted, but they were so good. They were so dumb. I see you. Tell them how you, what you used to eat. I don't know. I did not remember. You exposed yourself to me about your popsicles. Oh, yeah. I was addicted to popsicles. I still am. Dude, I was obsessed with popsicles. Like, I was so fat, I would go to bed at night looking forward to what I'm going to eat for breakfast in the morning. That's really sad. Moment of truth. Look at how perfectly... I have a five-page essay this is. is. Like, October 30th. That's like a month. Yeah, but knowing me, I'll wait until the 29th. And then I'll be stressed out of my mind, and then I'll want to kill myself. I could write an essay in like two hours. That's the one thing I was always good at in school. I write the best essays last minute. I was never good at like math or science. I was good at history, but because I like history. But like all my other like hard classes, I could never do them. But my creative classes, like writing, yeah. everybody would be stressed out. They'd be like, oh my God, this and this. And I'd be like, I'm gonna write that bitch at eight o'clock at night <laughs> the night before. That's what I and always I would always do. get an A. You look like a little, like, sad baby. Alright guys, that's it for this week's Get Fat with Sarah and Asia. Okay, bye.